Eritrea is on the borders of East Africa and Saudi Arabia. Issy belongs to the Afas tribe. His tribe has lived on this arid and inhospitable land since the dawn of time. Issy is a camel driver or desert patroller. He is known to indicate the best paths to the rare caravans. But Issy is also famous for another reason. He is the best player of a bull game that goes back to the origins of his people, Corso. Corso was used to solve differences or questions of territory between two tribes, but today it remains by tradition. As is the tradition, Issy has been provoked into the game by his neighboring village. He goes to see his father for some last minute advice. The confrontation will take place tomorrow. For now, he joins up with the members of his team to share a meal. Issy is charged with making the ball. He gets up at daybreak to go and see the old Ali Rakmu. Ali is now the last person to know how to make the balls traditionally with palm tree leaves. In the meantime, the pressure rises in the village. The contenders indulge in war dances under the watchful eyes of the women. Ali Rakmu, after having cut and plaited the leaves, covers the ball with a piece of Issy's loincloth, the symbol of his tribe. the two teams get together in an arena of black ash. A brief moment of warming up and of contact, and then the game becomes real. Anything is allowed to pass with the ball without being taken or running away and bring the ball back into play in the center of this fictitious territory. But this game has no limits, either of time or space. He who manages the longest breakaway without being taken brings victory to his team. With the last rays of daylight, the judge brings the game to an end. He then reunites the former opponents under the moon and the star, which governs the life of the Afars. With a single gesture, the winner throws the ball high into the sky, and thus with the men and their favorite star as witnesses, the air is cleared.